Hey guys, how you doing? Ice Grenade here, and I've got another tutorial for you guys today. Uh, we are in my GoldenEye map, and I'm gonna, sh yeah, I'm gonna let you guys use the fire trap. So, this is something custom that Zok and I have been working on. Zok has done all the coding for it. What a ledge, mate! So you can make sure you thank Zokamo and credit him as well as Ice Grenade myself. But yeah, we have a custom fire trap. So we've got a pipeline which is dripping and we have an electric line and we have these two different valves one there and one there they're different activation points and what you got to do is you first have to link it up so if you watch this little wire here we watch and um, i've got a lot of zombies to kill oh god okay so you wait, lock, wire it up and there you go and then it's activate power to grid which you put on the switch and then if you look down, can you see the fire in the floor? There we go, we know the, we know the fire trap is ready. And what we can do is we can use either one of these and activate it. And you'll see that all the zombies are getting burnt. There's like a 95% chance they're gonna kill a zombie. There's a very small chance the zombie can run through before it manages to get it. Um, but yeah, just like a trap, there you go. See one got through. Um, but yeah, it's very effective and it's a really cool little trap. It does also damage you, the player. So if we do God mode uh, and we go up to it, we'll see that it slowly damages you uh, until it's too much and then you can die. So you've seen the fire trap work. Uh, now we're gonna go install it. So let's do this. If you go down into the description, there'll be a link to this page. And if you just go over to this page and go up to the right hand corner and hit download, and it's gonna ask you to download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it. But once you have it downloaded, get it somewhere, right click and do extract all. Then what you wanna do is have it open on your right hand side. Then open another file explorer in your Black Ops 3 root on the left hand side. Then you're gonna to wanna to drag in the top three folders. Not all of them, but just the top three drag those across i've already done that you just want to drag it here into make sure it says copy to call of duty black ops 3 and then let go once you've done that then you want to go into the user maps folder and you want to just rename this to your map name if you're unsure what your map name is go into your user maps and then just copy whatever name it is here in my case it's the zm and i'm going to do demon test and boop and then what you want to do is you can either drag that into there or if we go up a folder up a folder you can drag the user maps in into here and it'll add it in so we've already got it okay so once you've done that you're going to want to do three next things well first of all open up this readme text and you're going to want to go here and copy these lines into your maps zone file so to get to your zone file, we're going to go to the launcher and we're going to go to the map that we're testing, which in this case is Demon Test. And we're going to go open edit zone file. And I'm just going to add this at the end like that and save. Make sure you save. And the next thing to do is we're going to go back to the readme file and we want to include this into our map. You want to copy this and you want to go back to the launcher and we need to get to your map name GSC. So if you've got that open, go there or just go this way. So open map folder, scripts, ZM, and we're gonna open up the map name.gsc and you should, you should see the custom fire trap GSC there that would have just been added. Okay, so once you are here, you're gonna wanna go up and you're gonna wanna paste the line that we've copied anywhere around all these other usings. So I'm just gonna paste it down here at the bottom. There we go. We got the custom fire trap and if we go back to the readme it says here you know you gotta call it so we gotta grab this and we gotta put this one back in the same file so if we go back to the demon test file i have no idea where that is so i'm just gonna go back here and open it up here okay and we want to put this above your user map main main so you can put it just at the start of this main function right there and save that then we're going to go back to this instruction file and you need to grab all these lines here so you got this here go copy go to your user alias to get there if we go to the open map folder and we want to go to the black ops 3 root you want to then go to share raw sound aliases and then put it in 
any alias that is on the map that you're working with. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you should have a user alias CSV. Just open up that one and go right to the end of it. You'll probably you'll probably only have like four lines, five lines or something. Don't worry about that. I've just got a lot. Go right to the end on a new line. Make sure you don't uh, go before a comma and press enter because that will break the line. You need to make sure you're after the last comma on a new line and then paste it in here and then just save this file. So we're going to save there. Okay, so that is it for this part. The next part of this tutorial is to open it up in Radiant, add in the trap and then full compile and boom, we've got a fire trap. So we're in Radiant and ignore the random dragon and the crazy ass skybox we got going on and all the other random bits and pieces in this map. This is one of my test maps, so you'll see some funny stuff in here if you haven't already. Right, so the next thing to do is we wanna to go to your prefab browser. You can right click up here and go down to prefab browser. I already had it open, so it actually closed it. So there we go, prefab browser. Then you wanna make sure you hit the reload button if you haven't already. Go down to where it says Zokmimar and open that up and drag in the ice grenade fire trap dot map and when the mouse changes from that mouse on the plus icon to a normal mouse, there we go. We know that it's loaded in. You can then press F4 just to move the view so you can see where it should be. And we can see that it's glitching around with the floor there. That is because on this prefab, we have a floor here. So what we're gonna do first actually is we're gonna stamp it. So prefab, stamp prefab. You could just compile now and boom, it all works. Well done, you got the fire trap, it's awesome. But I'm gonna go a bit further right now. So stay with me if you wanna see setting up this area here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this floor and I'm gonna cut down this edge here. I'm gonna cut down this edge here. Right, and then I'm gonna slide these brushes across just so that we have this hole in the floor. So we just cut a hole in the floor and boom. One thing I'm gonna say is I spent the time making this trap uh, from hand with a load of assets that you can get in the mod tools. Uh, it's got some debris and like pipes and all sorts of bits and pieces. You don't have to use this. You can use this if you like. I have no problem with that. Um, it's all included in, in the package when you download it. But yeah, you might want to make your own different type of fire trap so that it's not just you know the fire trap I have in my map but it's up to you I, I I don't mind I would ask though please don't release your map before mine I want mine to be the first okay so uh, yeah I am releasing this tutorial before I release my map so yeah that might be an ultimate rip but anyway falling off topic so yeah let's do this guys let's compile and go check this out so yeah I'll see you when we've compiled let's just do a full compile link actually we don't need to do the light okay so See you in game. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with this fire trap. Ignore this crazy map. <laughs> this is a test map of mine and we are testing all sorts of crazy stuff including wings and an evil door. And that. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the fire trap. So we're going to go turn it on. So the first thing you need to do with the fire trap is connect it. So you can put this line anywhere pretty much. And uh, yeah, you're just going to be putting that in there which plugs it in. And then you're gonna be turning on the power, which then lights up the trap. If you look there, you see the fire underneath the boards. Uh, and then we have the different triggers around the map. So we've got this trigger here. You can activate that and turn the fire trap on. I don't have enough points. All right. The dragons are biting our ankles. All right, so yeah, you plug it in. You might have to move that around to get it to sit properly. You might find it easier if you move the plug socket around rather than the plug itself. But yeah, using these models, I've made this fire trap for the GoldenEye map that I'm making. And I thought you guys might want to use it. We can see the textures here are messed up, but they just need setting to natural. And then we have the two points where you can turn the trap on. So you can set those to whatever you want. I've used valves. Turn the trap on and boom, it takes them out. This script may be updated in the future and it will have proper fire effects on it like the napalm zombies that you get in Shangri-La. But until then, it doesn't. Oh, that dragon managed to pass it by the time it turned off. Once it uh, runs out, because I think it runs for 30 seconds, uh, it then says, sorry, the fire trap is cooling down. And you have to wait another 30 seconds or so 
for it to cool down and when it's cooled down you can use it again and you should hear it give you a prompt to say uh, when the fire trap is ready so we'll wait for that it's dragon man trying to bite my ankles these are the demons you hear that fire trap ready fire trap ready right oh we don't have enough money for the fire trap but you get the picture so go and enjoy it and i hope this has been a good tutorial don't forget to like this video if this helps you out and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more other than that oh my god look these dragons evil dragons <laughs> yeah take it easy everyone